house always wins. Play long enough, you never change the stakes. The house takes you. Unless, when that perfect hand comes along, you bet big, and then you take the house. I've been practicing this because a little bit that I rushed. It felt like I rushed. It was good. I liked it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Big Easy Bets podcast. I'm your host, Logan, and with me in the studio, Nick Von Brick. Hallelujah, 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 <laughs> hallelujah. Directing the, uh, driving the ship for us today, Justin the Russian Concussion Mascaro. How are you? Good, how are y'all? Doing good. Joseph, how are you? Great. All yeah. right, it is week zero. We're here. We made it. It felt like the longest off season of all time. Would you agree? Dude. It really did. I almost had to start seeing a therapist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for for lack of football? Yeah, I was going nuts. Yeah. No, it really, I don't know what it was about this offseason. I don't know if it, I mean, every year it's the anticipation about next year. Um, but, yeah, this one felt like it took forever. But we are here. We have meaningful games to talk about. Finally, I have bets placed. I have money on the line currently as we speak. Don't feel great about it, but it's there. <laughs> um but yeah, so every episode we're going to try to do the best and worst thing we saw this week, and then we're going to end it with a top three. We are this episode at the end. We are going to be ranking our top three fast food menu items of all time. My number one's been solidified from the very beginning. Um, but with that being said, sometimes I know what your number one is take a go. No, don't even say. No, it. Don't even say. It. You say probably it. do yeah, know. I it. Definitely know. Um, I know it. This is a big episode. Fair to say. Yes. Yeah. Would you agree, Justin? Absolutely. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. All right. So this is probably the least episode. This is probably the episode that needs this the least. But I, like I told you, I'll have a surprise. Do you want to take a guess what it is? Um, <laughs> do you, <laughs> no. I think it's Jameson. No. It's got to be. It's not Jameson. Oh. I, told, I showed Justin so he knows. Nick's going to love him. Oh, yeah. Smelling salts. Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? Smelling fuck salts. Yes. Fuck, fuck yes. yes. <laughs> sometimes the morale is low. Not morale, but sometimes energy can be low right in the beginning. This was, Like I said, this hurt? is the least. It was is, almost what I thought it was. Doesn't it hurt this like is the episode month? that I needs, thought it was going to be an eight ball of cocaine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this episode probably needs this the least, like realistically. I haven't tried it. I've never tried it. Does anybody want to go first? You just open it and smell it? Is yeah, that the they, re they recommend a waft to start. No, 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 no. Are you sure? They say it can stink up the whole fucking room, so. Like pepper spray? I don't know. I've never been pepper sprayed. Um, no, probably not. Like does anybody else want to go first? <laughs> I'll go first. How did you think go of ahead. this? Go ahead. Go first. Uh, like, what made you get that? We got it. This is a big episode. No, no, no. It says don't no, don't do that. Don't need to add water. Don't shake it. So go easy, they said. <laughs> <laughs> Is it strong? God damn. Let me God. see. Let me see. Why hit you in your fucking eyeball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, God. it's pretty strong. Waft it for sure. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Hold on. I, don't, I didn't get enough. I didn't get enough. Ooh. Put your nose straight in. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's <laughs> Let me put the cap back on. Oh, my, it's in my eyes. It is yeah. like pepper spray. I hate that shit. Hold on. I got to get a little bit more. Oh, I could smell it from here. What Whew. the fuck? Oh, what do you man. feel like? Oh, <laughs> way too much. Way too much. Oh. Oh, put the cap back on that thing when you're done. Whoo. It feels like... It, put the cap on it. Put the cap oh on it. It feels like... It feels like um, when you get a, a whiff of Vicks vapor rub, but it also feels like somebody like just stabbed you in your nose. Yeah, yeah, get get in there. Cap on, put the cap on. Oh man, man, it's right though. Don't don't drop it. Nervous. There's a little bit on the cap, so don't let that fall out. Dude, y'all's eyes go like are watery. Go like this. Look, waft, waft. Oh. Can you take too much? Oh, no, no, no. Because I kind of want a little bit more. No, I'm pretty really positive nice. you the can. The second one hit good. I'm up. 
You're right. You got to get closer than that. What is he doing? Yeah, you're wasting it. Yeah, get in there. You got to get way closer than that. He's so scary. I know. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't oh, even think no. he got it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my eyes. <laughs> Give me that. <sighs> I'm fucking crying. Dude, yeah, if I, I Dude that second hit hit me. My, my stomach. Oh. Let's get it moving around in there. Hoorah. They say like it could make it makes some people throw up. So that's why I'm like, what if I take too much? No. <laughs> We're all gonna be throwing up on the table. Oh God, bro. It's oh shaking it was a bad idea. That shit like gets it. in your fucking eyes. Did your eyes not water? Look at my fucking yeah. face right now. But it come through my nose and then it hit my it yeah. went from the inside of my eyes. Ooh. I mean, I feel good. I feel oh. juiced up. Yeah, definitely feel oh. juiced up for sure. All right. I'm ready to bet on some fucking We should have did that here. before the draft. Woo. How much yeah. was it? Yeah. Man. Yeah, we 20 bucks? <laughs> Fuck. Get in there. Don't waft. Get in there a little closer that with your nose like I did. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's a hit. Oh, yeah. That's a hit. Oh, yeah. Put the cap on that thing. We're ready to roll. God damn. We're ready to roll. Great idea. That thing's spike. That, yeah, that gets you going. That gets my you going. My nose might stop bleeding. Yeah, no, it does feel kind of like it's that. The, and I then it hits the back of your nose. throat. Um, That was a success. Put the cap on that and put that over there in the corner. I would say that was a success. Um, all right, I'm kind of like my my brain's kind of jumbled. Actually, I'm trying to I'm trying to <laughs> trying to yeah. get it back on Where track. Where are we? <coughs> oh, man, all right, <clears throat> fuck. All right, like I said, best and worst of the week. We're gonna try to do this every episode. Um, let's start it off with the worst thing we saw. Okay, I'll go first. The worst thing I saw this week was Jake Paul's baseball swing. Did you see that? No. Did you see That's that? That's a good one. Yeah, yeah I saw Did, it. You saw it? Mm-hmm. Wait, what was what? it? it was like you didn't, you really game? didn't see it? No. He was like, he's been touring. He's in Miami, I guess, like touring the football and or all the sports teams. Um, He's rigging these fucking fights. Did you see the video? He has the worst well, hand-eye yeah, coordination the video. I've ever seen in my oh, entire fucking swing, life. Saying that? <laughs> I haven't played baseball since I was like 12, maybe 11. I'm putting a ball in play. Yeah, pull it, and up. it was batting practice. Look it up on Twitter. Let me look it up. It was batting practice. This dude, no, it was horrible. Is he did one of these? He did one of these. So he he does a like kind of a regular swing and misses, and then he hits him with one of these. Oh god! No, like not an athlete. He's like, oh, I might go play football in the NFL. He said that like a couple months ago. Yeah, strong safety. My my head's like jittering. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. Um. There, there's no fucking way. He's got no hand-eye coordination. First one wasn't too bad. Okay. Get to the second one. He can't hit oh, the yeah, ball. That's, that's god awful. That's the worst Is thing I saw to the this pitcher? week. Is he talking start a little earlier? I don't know. I don't know. Tim, you're fucking doing it wrong. Yeah. That was the worst. <laughs> yeah. Go a little yeah. slower. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Far and away, the worst thing I saw this week was his his baseball swing. That was horrendous. My best and worst are the same. Okay, that doesn't make sense. But okay. what was the worst thing you saw this week? You got anything? Yeah, it was um Shannon's pizza. Oh, uh, <laughs> fucking pizza contest, Definitely. dude. Oh yeah, that. Okay, so for those who don't know, Shannon, uh, we had our fantasy football draft at Fat Boys, and Shannon tried to do the pizza challenge, which was seven minutes. Well, you did it. It's on the video is on YouTube. Nick completed it, made it look easy. Shannon gave it a shot. No. Yeah, and he was talking all that shit on Twitter. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Well, the whole time he was eating like a girl. No, he was. And he was like, like chewing with his mouth closed and shit. And I was talking to him, but it's like, why? Don't talk back to me. Yeah, eat Focus. the pizza. Are you, are you in? Are you focused on what you're doing? He said not? I was eating as fast as I could. I said, no, you weren't. Yeah, no, not even close. Not even you're close. You were eating like you didn't want to get pizza on your face. Yeah, he really kind of was. Yeah, it's like Dave was out there. He was jerking that fucking pizza <laughs> yeah. off. He was doing everything he could to win. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, bad, bad. Bad performance and by especially Shannon. for you, because you destroyed it. Those yeah, he got on the top 10 leaderboard. Granted, yeah. somebody overtook your spot. Yeah. But I'm going to get it back. Seconds. I almost got it back that night. That's crazy. That's yeah. insane. Apparently, some regular guy ate it in 58 seconds. Oh, no, no, someone who's never done any eating challenges. Yeah. Though. I'm sure they did something strange, though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Justin, what was the uh, what was the worst thing you saw this week? Uh, worst thing saw is uh, Michael Thomas hamstring injury. I don't know how serious it is, but it does hurt after just drafting them two days ago. <laughs> yeah, okay, fuck your fantasy team. I'm worried about the Saints. Um, no, I'm sure he's fine. It's probably a minor thing. Uh, who knows? Maybe it's something worse, but I'm, it's not anything to sweat over currently. 
but we'll see. Joseph Williams I mean, the it's worst. It's not easy to come back after a year and a half, you know? Yeah, definitely not. Um, I think he's going to be fine. I really don't think it's going to be a problem. It's a minor thing. Uh, Nick Underhill already reported like he thinks it's 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 a it's a small thing. It's nothing to worry about. Marshawn Lattimore is also dealing with a hamstring injury, so yeah, it happens. It's precautionary, I'm sure. I, I'm assuming that your best and worst is. I think I know what it is, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that because I re- is my best because the kick was itself was disgusting. So that works. I was going to touch on this regardless, and, and, but, but it's my the worst because no, I really like no, 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 Usman. No, 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 I didn't want to see him lose. You know? So yeah, I'll just my best of the week is Leon Edwards' uh, knockout over Kamaru Usman, nasty. getting beat essentially the entire fight. He wins the first round, loses two, three, four, is getting pretty much dominated in five, and then head kick from the fucking heavens mm-hmm. and sends Kamaru Usman to the, the fucking shadow realm. That was incredible. I was watching it. I was I was on the headset with Ryan watching it, and I literally I just said, oh, my God, over and over again. You watched it live? Yeah, we were watching it oh. when it happened, yeah. I was yeah, I was I too. See it, dude. I, well, dude, I was streaming it, and we were too. my stream kept going out. Well, it went out for, like, the last time at, like, two minutes left, and I was like, ah, I'm fucking going to bed. And then I was like, yeah, I better just – See if it'll work one more time. I fucking clicked it on and not night, not even a minute later. Yeah, no, it was exactly fucking, like a minute. Left I was in like, the fight. oh my god, nuts. No, I literally just said, oh my god, oh my god. Like I couldn't fucking believe it. Like that that was one of the most improbable knockouts I've seen. Oh yeah. Like, it, like when you when you break it down into the fact that he's trying to break Anderson Silva's record. I don't know if it, it was tied or break it. it. I don't t- know. Uh, to break it, it was tied. Okay, so yeah, he's trying to he's trying to break the record for consecutive title defenses, right? It was most. Or just wins uh, win to start streak. your career. Okay. Um, the longest win streak in UFC history. Yeah, so he's trying to break that. He's the pound-for-pound pound number one in the world. Leon Edwards has had all this adversity, getting COVID, getting pieced up by Masvidal in the back room, um, but having fights canceled, getting injured, all this this crazy road to get, where he, to get where he is. And then, to, like he said, it was his worst perform one of his worst performances ever. The coaches, the the coach corner cam was fucking awesome. Like hearing what they're saying to him and all of that. Yeah, dude, to go out there perfectly plays. He f- like faints the left hand, and, and it's like, so he throws the left, but yeah. Usman do- I would imagine that you would dodge that way, but he 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 goes left right into the perfectly placed fucking head kick. And he was fucking out, out. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, when, when you don't even like cover up, like he's like, he's over here doing one of these on his back. That picture, like he's just looking, he's seeing he sees nothing. Ghosts. Yeah, yeah. Like that, that was, was strange, yeah, because he kind of fainted with the right at first, but it was slow motion, so I couldn't tell what he was reacting to. I'm 99 percent sure though left. that the main one was the left. Was left. He because I was like he faints yeah, with the yeah, left and, and, and slip, kicks with the you left. You slip right what, when that happens. Okay. Or you're supposed to. You can do either way. Into but. your power hand? No, you're just slipping away from it, if okay. that makes sense. So, like, if, if do you, you were not to, want to slip, it, it, why the right, though? Are you trying not to slip into his power? Um, Because, like, let's say I'm throwing my left hand. Yeah. And it's easier for me to miss you going this way. Like, if you were to move this way, then I could just, like, turn I got it you. Into I a got hook you. Makes sense. And fall yeah, in your yeah, head yeah, that yeah. way. Okay. Yeah, that yeah, because if you're here, you're not gonna be able. It's to, like I can't come. You're back. not. Yeah, you're not gonna bring yeah. it. I got you. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got to hats off to Edwards. Like I don't have anything against Kamar Usman. I like Usman. Though. He undoubtedly was pound for pound number one. Still probably is. He was dominating that fight. Yeah. It wasn't exciting, but he was dominating the fight. So he's realistically, it's the best thing for both sides. Edwards gets to the top of the mountain. Now they're going to get to go to England, Wembley, the O2 somewhere. And have a fucking super mega fight with a British superstar now, you're gonna make a fuckload more money, both of them. So it's like it was the best case scenario for both sides. I, I, granted, Kamar Usman doesn't get the the glory of having the right. the record, but it's like you're now going to make so much more money. That next fight is gonna be huge. Yeah. So especially if it's over there, like it, it it's like it sucks that you lose, but it, I almost feel like it was in his best interest. In the long run, financially and all of that, he's going to come back. He's more than likely going to dominate and get his belt back. Yeah. They're saying, is Jorge Masvidal going to fight Leon Edwards for the belt? Like, why do we keep giving Masvidal, like, this no, praise? No, they're definitely giving you got to um, run it back right away. Usman's getting an immediate rematch. Yeah, you're the pound-for-pound pound number one. It's no fuck. And Leon Edwards said, like... It would be different if he had just had the... That was his first title defense. It's yeah. like, no. I get they the talk Im- about running it back after? 
they say, well, Leon Edwards said we can either do it right away or if we do it later on down the line. But it's like you would be dumb as fuck to fight Jorge Masvidal. It's not going to sell nearly as it's not going to be nearly as big of a fight, and you could lose. You never know. I don't think he would. Masvidal was very fortunate to go on that run when he did, but then it was like, like the Nate Diaz BMF title. Like Nate Diaz is on his way out. He's been on his way out. He got yeah. dominated by Leon Edwards until he caught him with one one hit, and nearly put it away because in in Nate Diaz fashion. But it would just make no sense for him to fight Jorge Masvidal. Masvidal hasn't earned the shot either. Who did Masvidal just... Oh, he got knocked the fuck out by Kamaru Usman. Yeah, and then Colby Covington And beat then him. Colby Covington beat him fucking all five rounds. Yeah. And probably 10-8 on at least one, maybe even two of the rounds. So, yeah, there's no way in hell that he deserves that shot. If anything, you make a better argument that Colby Covington deserves the shot. Yeah. Over Masvidal. Yeah, for sure. So, but but yeah, we're not trying to get all into uh, UFC too much. That definitely fucking segued. But, all right, what was the best thing you saw this week? Was that it? Um... I mean, yeah, that's definitely up there, but like a more low lower profile thing is Isaiah Likely. What about him, dude? He's gonna be a big part of their offense. Are we okay? Are you ta- are you referring to the most recent preseason game? Yeah. Okay, I didn't watch it, so I remember their first preseason game. Um, Nick in in the Dynasty League sent me like a clip of him making a contested catch. It was a good catch, but it wasn't a great catch. Yeah. And so then he trade. He was saying like he's tight end one this year. Like, okay, you're fucking high. They have Mark Andrews. Yeah. Like, but did he go all? Did he go crazy? And, yeah, he had eight catches for 100 yards. Oh, a did touchdown. he really? Like, I mean, we and know, it was from the start of the, of the game. Do you know where Isaiah Likely went to college? No, I don't even know who the hell that is. Motherfucker. <laughs> that is incredible. That is incredible. I don't know who that is. Number, he was number four, right? Yeah. The tight end for Coastal Carolina. Oh, yeah. That's incredible, Justin. I wasn't as big of a Coastal guy as y'all. What are you talking oh, about? You bet know. Coastal every week last year. What? Justin also Yeah, no, pulled that's the, why that's why it's cool because we we knew about him before anybody yeah, else. Yeah, way before anybody else. I knew like yeah, it was like he when he sent me the clip, I was like, dude, I've been watching Isaiah Likely yeah. forever. Grayson McCall to Isaiah Likely down the fucking seam. See you later. Like Yeah. That's incredible. Oh, I y'all wasn't as big as a coastal guy. It's like watching your kid grow up. You bet co- yeah, yeah, except you don't know his name. <laughs> you bet kid. coastal every My week. Step kid. <laughs> um yeah, Justin's you weren't on here for this, but yeah, Justin's like, uh, I'm more excited about college. It's easier to bet. I didn't yeah. mean it like that. He went 60 and 32 in the NFL. And like, you were above 500 in college. No, I think you might have been slightly below. Yeah. Yeah, it's easier to bet. Hey, what crack are you smoking, dude? Um, all right, Justin, what was the best thing you saw this week? Um, Ukrainian soccer is coming back. The fuck does that mean? They get to play in Ukraine again. With the war. Was that like people were worried about that? Apparently. Okay. What about the Russian tanks? You didn't see anything better than that. They don't give a shit. <laughs> They're not going to let them play. Yeah. Fuck Your that nickname shit. is the Russian concussion. We should reassess that possibly. Yeah. Are you Russian or not? Yeah. We just let that go fly under the radar. Russia's out here bombing the world. Yeah. So I have a, a shirt that says it like. Trainer got me a shirt for Christmas, and it says Russian concussion on the back. I and he kind of got it for me, like, whenever all that was happening. Yeah. And I wore it, like, out to a bar one time. Oh, God. And, like, three people tapped me on the shoulder and was like, what does that mean? It's like, oh, it's just uh podcast. It means fuck yeah. Russia, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're like, oh, okay. Oh, we're just wondering. Well, so, like, yeah. I'm I mean, I feel like we jump. should get credit for that. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. No, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, you? My best? Mm-hmm. Leon Edwards. Okay. That's what I said. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. A- each episode, we're going to try to do our best and worst thing that we saw this week. Like I said, at the end of the episode, top three fast food menu items of all time. I feel like that's going to be my list. Is, my list is lock solid. Um, but, yeah, week zero is here. We made it. We made it through the dark times. Like I said, the off season nearly gets us every year, but we're back. Uh, but before we j- dive into that, did you ever watch the Manti Teo documentary? No. Did you? Did you? Yes. Okay. If you haven't seen the Manti Teo documentary, you should certainly watch it because it's fucking crazy. And there is a transvestite on there that completely ruined Manti Teo's uh, young, uh, young adult life. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. 
it's it's crazy. It it I feel like the start of this conversation could go a couple different directions, so we should just move on. But, yeah. but <laughs> it's it's bad. I mean, everybody knows how I feel. Do they? <laughs> well, don't remind about me. About all that. <laughs> don't remind them. <laughs> all right. Week zero, like I said, week zero is here. Um, not a ton of games to choose from, so we're more than likely going to have some very similar picks. With that being said, who wants to go first? Who feels good about their games? Um, I do. Okay, save your locks for the end. Locks go last. So mark it down right now. Okay. Were you about to lead off with your lock? No, I know my lock. Oh, I didn't say, do you know your lock? I said, were you about to lead off with it? Um, all right, so you go first then. Uh, yeah, I'm going to touch on the first game. Okay. Nebraska versus Northwestern in Dublin, Ireland. Definitely the biggest game of the week. In terms of like, I mean, there's no star-studded teams really, but. Shit. Go ahead. Um, Yeah, it's the same question that everyone always asks. Is this a year? Is this a year that Nebraska finally turns it around? Um, Ever since they hired Scott Frost, they haven't been able to. And quite frankly, it's surprising that he still has a job at this point. Hasn't he been there for like 17 years? No, four. He was a um, – What did I read? What stat coach did I read then? Of U, U, UCF. C, UCF. UCF. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, he's 15 and 29 in his four seasons. So that's bad for college football. Um. But they made some changes on offense. The big thing is that Adrian Martinez is gone. It's a guy that had talent, but he kind of sucked too. <laughs> he is with like, K-State now. Um, I just think it's good that they'll have a fresh start with the transfer from Texas, Casey Thompson, who kind of, like Martinez, has shown flashes at times, but has struggled as well. Um, pairing him with the new offensive coordinator, Mark Whipple, who spent the last three seasons at Pitt. Mm-hmm. I think that that thing that – Pairing him with him will make it uh, easier on the quarterback. And for for Northwestern, just looking at this matchup, I'm not sure if they had enough change around their team. It's like how much can good coaching and a little bit more experience really fix over there. Maybe they turn it around after a really bad season last year. They were really bad on offense and uh, uncharacteristic uncharacteristically bad on defense. Mm -hmm. So I think they'll probably be a little bit better, but I just think um, offensively Nebraska has a good chance to kind of get off to a fast start, and I just don't know if Northwestern's going to be able to to keep up with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take Nebraska minus 13. Really? It feels like way too many. I want to take it, but I'm (laughs) I'm on the point total. Um but, yeah, they got Trey Palmer from LSU, Marcus Washington from Texas, two wide receiver transfers. Uh, obviously, Washington follows Casey Thompson. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I feel like the most noteworthy change is definitely Mark Whipple. Kenny Pickett, I mean, owes him a lot. So, not that Kenny Pickett wasn't good, but I feel like Mark Whipple had a, a large. But, I mean, yeah, and Kenny Pickett even had his little, I mean, he wasn't, the player that he was last year, two seasons ago or no, one season not. ago, yeah, certainly not. He so he, he struggled as well in his career. Yeah, so uh, I feel like Mark Whipple has a lot to say for why Kenny Pickett's now the quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, speaking of that, Matt Corral done for the year. Yeah, I know. What Foot. Happened? Our bet was first to make the Pro Bowl, correct? Yeah. Okay, good. So it's not voided. <laughs> good. Um, well, you can't make the Pro Bowl if you don't play. Yeah. But we didn't put an injury clause in there. Um, so, yeah, this game is in Dublin. It's going to be 30,000 fans in the stadium. It looks like it is going to be 18,000 U.S. fans by estimations. Uh, nowhere near the, I think, the record at Nebraska was 91,000 fans. So, not really going to be a ton of fans and advantage behind Nebraska there. Northwestern was horrendous last year, much like Nebraska. Ryan Halinski will be the starter from South Carolina uh, transfer, and they should be getting Cam Porter back healthy after a stellar freshman season. He tore his ACL in training camp going into last year. 
Uh, Evan Hull took over from there and ran for 1,273 yards from scrimmage and nine touchdowns. I say ran from him. That was his scrimmage yards. Northwestern wants to run the ball behind the preseason All-American tackle Peter Skaronsky. Nebraska has some kinks that they are going to have to work out. Um, <laughs> they definitely improved from last year. I think this is a good opportunity for them to get off to a good start on the season. 13 feels like a lot of points for me, but I don't feel confident in Northwestern to go ahead and take the points. I think I'm going to take the under 50 and a half. Northwestern typically was a good defense. Last year they were not. So, but they have good running backs. They have 2,000 yard running backs. They're getting one of those two back healthy this year. He's not a full go yet. Like, it's not 100% if he's going to participate, but he's been practicing. So, when you take that, you take into account that they have an All American tackle. Uh, like I mentioned with Peter Skaronsky, they're going to try to run the ball. So am I going to – I don't feel confident taking 13 with Casey Thompson when we don't know yet what what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely ha- shown the ability, though. No, he has. Yeah, no, he showed flashes at Texas. but And the Northwestern secondary is suspect. Yeah. I do think Nebraska that's might like – being that's not being harsh at all. Like, that's – I do think both teams are going to come out and try to establish the run to start, though. So if, yeah, if Northwestern I mean, I don't know. can control Under, a little bit. At Pitt, they didn't really – they would run it, but they would throw it a lot more than they ran it at Pitt. Oh, so. definitely. Yeah, and they had a Banacanda. They had they I had think they'll run it, there. but I definitely think the the offense is going to be geared more around getting – getting the ball to playmakers in space. So, yeah, last year Nebraska beat Northwestern 56-7. to The year before that I think it was 21-13. to The year before that it was 13-10. to So, typically these are low-scoring games. Last year was definitely an exception with a horrendous Northwestern defense. Um, but I don't think Pat Fitzgerald's a bad coach. Like, I no, think, I don't. I, I think it, it could have been an uncharacteristically down year. They weren't good. But I think that they're going to try to lean on the run if – I'm banking on Nebraska. I'm banking on the fact that Northwestern's not going to be able to put up that many points, so they're going to try to lean on the run and hope that they can control the clock. And then if Nebraska can have some kinks that they need to work out in the early season and not necessarily be that efficient on offense as they might be week four, five, six, whatever. So I'm going to take the under 50 and a half. I, I, I definitely don't feel – I'm not like, oh, take Northwestern in the points. Yeah, the There's only a reason lot to that be, I'm staying away from the – the unders, I just don't – The Northwestern's defense is just too bad. Yeah, but they've improved a little. They had some transfers. They had – they had, but, yeah, I say they improved. There's so many question marks in week zero. So there's a lot of stuff that has to be answered. But it is on grass in Dublin. Wind is going to be a potential factor, they said. Um, and it's the rainy season over there in Ireland. It's all I, it's all I got on Dublin. So, yeah. But – it very well could be perfect weather for all I fucking know. <coughs> I don't know. Um, but 50 and a half, I mean, that's a – it's not really that many points for a college football game. Oh. But, I mean, I was looking at other games that were 44 and a half. Like, there, there's there's lower spreads than that. I just feel like new quarterback, new wide receivers, you got to get on the same page. There's, there's just some stuff that could potentially need to be worked out. So, yeah, this is no by no means my lock. I don't feel uh, – and I'm not even saying – like, I want to take Nebraska. But they fucking – I remember last year. Yeah, that was a different quarterback. I remember what they did last year. Um, they were in control of that game to start. No, they were. They turned it over multiple and then fucking times too. Blown wide open guy in the end zone. Yeah. Martinez sails it. Mm-hmm. Like a fucking eight-yard throw. Yeah, I remember I was in Austin watching it. We evacuated for the hurricane. Justin, are you on this game? Yeah, I am. Um, I kind of – I have both of y'all's picks. I'm on Nebraska minus 13, and I'm on the under at 50 and a half. Uh, I actually locked this one in earlier in the week, and mm-hmm. if you did that, you could probably catch it at like 54. I think that's what it opened up at, and it probably will keep going down. I did not see 54 at all, but I'm not saying that's not factual. <laughs> but yeah. I, I would I would weigh rather 54. Yeah. But uh, I think Nebraska's O line is going to be able to uh, open up the run game, be able to uh, control the chains throughout the game, and then like Nick said, they also got Casey Thompson out of Texas, and then they got Trey Palmer from LSU, and then mm-hmm. Marcus Washington, who was with Casey Thompson, mm-hmm. and then with Pitt's offensive coordinator going there. I mean, that's why I kind of think like the under as well. Like it's a completely new offense mm-hmm. and a different style. You know, they're gonna. I feel like they're going to try to throw the ball and air it out a little bit more. And then, so I, I just think 
it's going to be, you know, just a new team. So mm. it's going to be weird, new adjustment too. So that's why I'm going to take the under. But I also agree with Nick that Northwestern's defense is really bad as well. So that's why I'm going to also take Nebraska minus 13. Okay. Yeah, it's always – I mean, dude, it's like I feel like if I'm taking the under, I feel like I would lean Northwestern, like in the hopes that they can control the clock and keep it close. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's why I, I I don't feel like I could personally take Nebraska in the points and the under. If they're going to win by 13, you're basically banking on, like... Yeah, I, I think I mean, they're going to be able to score. Well, then you're banking on Northwestern to score nothing. If you're yeah, taking I mean, they the might under. score seven points. Especially if it starts to, like... Well, okay, then if Nebraska if bam, drops Nebraska 40, scores on the first drive, then... Northwestern goes three and out. Nebraska scores yeah, again. Yeah. Then you All can't of a really sudden, lean on the run game. Northwestern's out of their game plan. Yeah, yeah. And they have to start trying to throw. And then yeah. Holinsky, but who played at South Carolina, actually he's like the first game he got in was against Alabama, and he yeah. didn't play bad. Yeah. But um, I'm pretty sure he played for Northwestern last year, and he just didn't play that good. Yeah. Yeah, but Northwestern gets the ball. 12 play drive, it's <laughs> off the clock, score a touchdown. This is a out. field goal. Yeah, or no. Well, well, yeah, I mean, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Joseph, are you on this game? Yeah. Which I got, side? Uh, Nebraska you, minus 13. Why do you, um, you agree with that? All the points y'all just made, all the new faces, uh, Trey Palmer, Casey Thompson coming from Texas, and then uh, you look at the game last year, 56-7, to seven, and I know they got a bunch of new faces. You don't know how it's going to go this year, but yeah. – it doesn't look good. You want to talk into the the part that says Audio Technico in there, because the like down here, yeah, that's better. And oh, okay. we can hear you. Better. It wasn't that bad, but yeah, yeah, <clears throat> that's better. Yeah, and, and like you said, with uh, I know Pitt had a pretty high powered offense last Fuck year, yeah. and that, that ripple coming in, I think that's going to take a big effect in this game. So they had, it's in a neutral site too, so it's not it going to be swayed towards one side of the fans, you know. Yeah, it's more like I said, it's much <clears throat> different. And it's not than, really that far. Oh, to get there. It's like what is it? Ireland? But what's the but what's eight the, hours maybe? Okay, so you're trying to make a case for why jet lag won't affect the Nebraska offense. Well, I mean, it's a far flight, but what, it's not like travels, as far though? as what travels. What do you mean? Defense. And huh? what travels? Defense and what? And the running game. Yeah, exactly. I know you know. You just don't want to. Yeah, say but they it. can't fucking run it. <laughs> so that's that they got way. Cam Porter. <clears throat> Shit. They well, got point to the under then. Exactly mm-hmm. my point. Lock me in for the under as well. <laughs> okay. What's it at? 50? It's just like it feels like such a, a fresh start yeah. kind of for Nebraska. An offense has been struggling since no, it's, Scott Frost it is got there. do or die now. But it's like they wiped the slate with the quarterback. They got a new offensive coordinator. It's just like it, it seems like I feel like they could come out with a lot of energy because of that. Yeah, because I'm it, sure. It's like a. A new start for them. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, he Scott Frost gave play calling duties to Whipple. Like he's not. It, it's a completely revamped new vibe in there. He basically had an overhaul on co- the coaching staff. He's still the head coach, but everybody yeah. else is different. So, yeah, no, I just. It's a lot of points for a week one game when two teams went three and seven last year or week zero game. And how big of a uh, addition do you guys think these two new, new receivers are, Palmer and? Uh... Oh, I'm sure Washington. it's a. I'm sure it's an upgrade. Is it is from a what huge they, upgrade from what they had? I mean, what do you? I how do you feel Washington, about Trey Palmer? I don't know. I don't. I didn't like him that much. But who Palmer? Yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to see what he does because I will kind of tell you, you know, what do we have about if us? he's solid? Yeah, yeah then it's because okay. if he right. does well, then yeah. it means that the guys right. we have are better than him. Yes. You know? Um. Yeah. So this is going to be one of those. Well, now they're both on the under with me, too. So I guess now it's the same thing. If the under hits, you're upset. If Nebraska covers and the under doesn't hit, I'm upset. So <laughs> it's going to be – it's three against one on either side of the table. But, yeah, so I, it's – take week zero with a grain of salt. I, I feel like that goes without saying. There's so many different – there's so many changes, so many different um, personnel and coaching changes, all kinds of stuff that it's – you got to get your eyes on them to get a confident feel. But – we shall see. Uh, but, yeah, so that's the first game, 11.30 a.m. on Fox. It, I, I'm guessing it's a night game if it's in Dublin. So Yeah, it should be night. So, But 11.30 our time on Saturday. Is nobody on the first game of the day, Austin P. Western Kentucky? Hell no. Are you? Nope. You? No, I thought Justin would be. What's the spread? <laughs> it's uh, They don't even have one listed currently here. They probably I mean, I'm not on it. I wasn't on it. So 
Um, Remember that one year we took Austin P. I I do. They suck so I bad. <laughs> I do. All right. The next game for me, I've got two plays mm. in this game. Nevada versus New Mexico State. Are either one of y'all on it? No. Yes. You? You mm. are? Yeah. You're not? We were talking about this one. Yeah, but I wouldn't. Oh, okay. Just, uh, I hope you wouldn't do the opposite side of what I'm doing then. Um, are you on this game, Justin? Well, I wouldn't nope. do any of it. That's why I'm not <laughs> bad. <laughs> All right, so Justin's not on it either. All right, much like everyone else in the country, both of these teams lost a lot of contribution from last year. Both of these teams will look to establish the run. New Mexico State's defense was horrendous last season, gave up nearly 500 yards of offense and 40 points per game, but they returned nearly everyone plus a few transfers. It can't get any worse. It's too many points. I'm going to go ahead and lay the points with uh, with New Mexico State, plus nine and a half. Who's the quarterback over And there? I'm also taking the under 50 and a half. Okay. I'm uh, under city. Who's the uh, quarterback <laughs> at New Mexico State? Nobody good. Wasn't it Carson Strong? No, that was Nevada. That was That's why I'm – oh, no, okay, yeah. I thought you meant Nevada. Yeah, Carson Strong was with Nevada. Um, New Mexico State, don't know. Nobody good. Nobody that's well, I remember their quarterback from last year was their best player. Yeah. Um, he was number two, a black guy. He could run. Um, I don't know, but they – yeah, no fucking clue. Don't know. Don't know. But it's too many points for Nevada, a team that lost a fucking load. They, I mean, they lost a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, they lost everything, went strong. Yeah. So, nine points. Nine and a half, actually. Yeah. And it's come down, so. I mean, yeah, New Mexico State has been bad for so long. Like, since we started the podcast, they've been one of the worst teams. Mm-hmm. It's like eventually. And and they keep showing a little bit more. They put up more and more of a fight every season, it seems. Yeah. So they're trending in the Home game to start the season, they're going to be fired up. We're covering the nine, but it's going under because both teams are trash. So you're on this one? Yeah, the other side. That's okay. Yeah, because – uh. I don't know what y'all are talking about. They were two and eight last year. They're fucking terrible. What was Nevada? Not much bad. Um, well, well, they were they I weren't bad last four? year, but um, I think eight and four. I read. I mean, they they, they, they just lost last year. Uh, their quarterback. Yeah, one was of the, their whole team. Yeah, top court. Yeah, no, they were not bad. Nevada. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four. Yeah, four. Yeah, but then they well they lost. They beat the, the shit. They out of lost. Them. Yeah, but they got the shit kicked out of them in the bowl game because Carson Strong didn't play. Yeah. Um, okay, oh, the Sue. dude from, I think it's Lafayette. Yeah, Nate Cox. Is he their quarterback this year still? Was he super tall? Yeah, remember him? I think yeah. first play, he might have fucking threw a dart. Like, Yeah. But then they Who got did they lose to in the bowl game? Uh, it was the Quick Lane Bowl. I remember that. Let me see. Um, a lot better of a team than fucking New Mexico State. I mean, not a spectacular team. Western Michigan, I think. Oh, yeah, they yeah, probably ran it all over them. Yeah. Western Michigan, fifty-two to twenty-four, they lost. But yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and take them. Um, you said you're not on this one, right, Justin? Yeah, correct. Okay. Um, give me your next one then. Um, Remember, we save locks to the end. North Texas at UTEP. It's a pick 'em. Yep. Um, North Texas brought in some quarterback transfers to compete with Austin. Does anybody know how to say this name? Ayun, A U, N E. I'm assuming, yeah, something like that. Are you? Oh, yeah, he's not any good, and uh, uh, I know a little secret about these transfers. They're not any good either. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> North Texas loses its top running back from last season, DeAndre Tony. Um, they still have a decent, decent backups from last year returning, but um, I just don't know what. It seems like North Texas is a team that. Um, beats themselves more often than uh, the other team beats them. So it's like they played Miami of Ohio in the bowl game. Yeah. And you were on North Texas. I was on Miami of Ohio. But if it was like if North Texas would just ran the ball, they would have won. They get they probably would have made the game a, a like, close game. That sounds like one that pissed me the fuck off. Like, oh, yeah. If well, I, they I, kept throwing it. I thought you were on North Texas. <laughs> No. It was the other way around? I you never bet. I always bet against North Texas. Okay. That's no, you do was. not. Yeah. Not in college basketball. Yeah. Not in college basketball. <laughs> <'cause>, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, look, they, they're bringing back most of their lines, so they're going to they're gonna try to run it. 
Um, on defense, they were better last year, but they still struggled against the run. They'll have to replace two of their top defensive ends who transferred to UCLA. I think that's going to be the big story here. UTEP, they're not going to try to do anything flashy. They're going to try to run the ball, do what they're good at behind their big offensive line, and I think the defense will play good enough. Like I said before, I just think this is a game where North Texas might beat themselves a little bit. UTEP tries to um, take care of the football and run it. North Texas losing their big defensive ends, That's I think that's the biggest story here because, I mean, it, they're not going to be able to rush the passer like they're used to, and that was a big deal against Miami of Ohio. They were able to get after the quarterback, and it's going to be a problem setting the edge and stopping the run. So I think UTEP has – has a um, good day running the football and wins the game Okay, at home. Are either one of y'all on this? Yeah. You are? Yeah, it's my lock of the week. Okay, then hold on. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, I mean, that was – I like that. I'm not going to take it because I have too many plays already. I wanted I wanted to kind of lessen the amount of plays I that I had. I don't know how I'm going to watch this one. It's on stadium. Y'all know how to get, a sta- get the stadium channel? Watch it on the channel you watch the UFC fights on. Um, yeah, I, have, streaming. I have no idea though, but yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to decrease the number of plays that I had, but then I was excited and I impulse bet everything. So I'm going to roll with it. Cause I feel like the second I take them off my, bo- off my, uh, picks on the podcast, they're all going to hit. And when I leave them on, they're going to lose. So it's a double edged sword. Um, I have one other game before my lock. It is Vanderbilt versus Hawaii. Okay. Are you on this? No. No? No. Yeah. Week zero? Are I you? Am. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Of course he is. Are you? Mm-hmm. How are you not on this one? It's week Ooh. zero. This is nine. This is vintage. Wait, and it's the Rainbow Warriors. This is vintage. This line grew. This is vintage uh, college football. Anytime I see Hawaii football, I, I think of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the pineapples. <laughs> yeah. How are you not on this game? All right, all right. It's a, I don't, y'all talk about it then. All right, given the Rainbow Warriors a touchdown advantage on the island where their native pineapples are, they don't have to get them. They import the pineapples. They don't have to. They, they have the pineapples that everybody wants. Why? It's like Brian Windhorse. Why is that? Why is that? You don't know that? Oh, God. You don't watch anything, dude. Uh, well, Hawaii had the worst defense in the Mountain West last season, and they lost every member of their secondary. So mm. I guess that could be a good thing. Your defense was <laughs> trash, and you lose everybody. But it's probably not. Take out the trash. The worst defense in the Mountain West, and they lose every member of their secondary. Braden uh, Shager is taken over at quarterback after Shevon Cordero went to San Jose State, followed in uh, Justin's idol Nick Starkle's footsteps. Vanderbilt had the worst defense in the SEC last season. Granted, much different competition. With that being said, I'm going over 55. Not taking the spread. Looks like it grew to eight points now. Vanderbilt's eight-point uh-huh. favorites. Uh, I'm going to take the over. Hawaii's new coach, much like Boise did, they brought back an old player. Um, he passed for like 4,000 yards in one season. when he's So he's an offensive What's guy. What's his name? Can't remember off the top of my head. I wish you wouldn't have asked. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but he used to play quarterback, pass for over 4,000 yards in a season. He's an offensive-minded guy. Hawaii likes to try to move the ball quick, no matter who's under center. And their defense is dog shit, much like Vanderbilt's was in the SEC. Again, different levels of competition. But eight-point favorites for Vanderbilt. They're clearly expecting them to uh, – put up some points so Hawaii's going to match them enough over 55 it'll be 12 30 we're going to be waiting on either a field goal at the end a meaningless field goal or we're going to be waiting on a fucking deep ball touchdown something to barely hit the over and then we're going to know college football is back so give me the over 55 Justin which side are you on I'm on the over as well but I'm also taking Vanderbilt minus seven and a half just because Hawaii did lose Almost everybody, and one thing I don't like is whenever players go back and coach their alma mater, like Timmy Chang is doing. I don't like that. I think that's his name. That was really tough for Justin to say that <laughs> typical Chinese name, but oh well, fuck. It might not be Hawaiian. <laughs> Chang. And then, uh, yeah, they lost their quarterback. They lost their top rusher, their receiver, their top two defenders. Uh, so yeah. I, 
they lost about everybody. Pineapples will be flowing, but not in favor of Hawaii. So give me Vanderbilt minus seven and a half and give me the over at 53 and a half. Where are you pulling these fucking numbers from? Oh, it is 53 and a half now. What'd you say? 55. That's not a good sign. It's okay. Well, I'm on the over now. I mean, the under. Line movement early in the year is like. Yeah, it's to be expected, but. You want to go opposite of it. Okay. I feel like. <laughs> I feel okay. like it always happens. It's like, oh, you're like, oh, shit. All right, 50, 53 and a half for the over. Joseph, which side are you on on this one? I'm on Hawaii. Plus six and a half is what I had it at. Well, now you get an eight. So take eight. the eight. I'm taking the eight, too. Plus eight. Yeah, no, they lost a bunch of people, like y'all said, and uh, they're trying to rebuild. And I'm pretty sure I read they're in a different stadium. Their normal stadium is uh, I don't under have construction a or some shit like that for like for four years. It looks like they're playing in the Clarence T.C. Ching Athletics Complex, and Ching is awfully similar to Chang. So that could be, I mean, any advantage you can get. Right. And so. uh, and jet lag for Vanderbilt. Well, yeah, that's always a thing with going. You always got to yeah. right. And um, you don't bet against them as a home dog. Where I mean, is Vanderbilt? Th- last year they were three zero and one as Tennessee. a home dog. Hawaii was so I'm not betting against that. Yeah, do it's you, in Tennessee. Do you? It is. Yeah. Okay. Well, he thought Nashville. South Bend was in Missouri, so I can't take his word for it. Are you? You don't know where it is either. Where do you? Vanderbilt? Yeah, it's in Tennessee. Okay. It's close. It's might be. It's in Nashville. Is yeah, it? it is. Or Nashville. really close. Yeah. So on the eastern side of the country, basically. Yeah. Right? And That's they got so they got to go. They got to go the long way. Yeah. They got to go the long way. It's a destination. You go out there to Hawaii. They're wearing the the lays and they're doing the hula, and then it's like, oh yeah, we got to play a football game. But meanwhile, you've got. Some savages over there just fucking going crazy on some pineapple. <laughs> yeah, just eating the doing fuck fucking out chance of this pineapple. Yeah. Well, I mean, and look, they're even bad as probably they're... doing other shit with them. And I'm not going to go into what? details. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> yeah. Because it's kind of sick what I've been seeing out there. Oh, yeah? You were talking about Davenport's pinky finger. you talking about these pineapples. You might hey, it's just what I've been seeing. What have you been seeing? The fucking world's filled with crazy sex tricks <laughs> what <laughs> what the fuck uh, have you been watching yeah you gotta dude? stay off those websites <laughs> just, it, just, no it's the streaming website yeah, it's all those little yeah, ads yeah. that pop yeah, up yeah he doesn't go full screen he <laughs> no, leaves he it up watches. so he's reading the chat and then he's seeing the ads <laughs> like, on the oh side oh my god Jesus what is going on in Hawaii um, they were home dogs four times last year 3-0 and 1 in all four of those games Interesting. Don't bet again. No, like, yeah, this I mean, will be it, an embarrassment if Vanderbilt loses this game. Yeah, no, that they yes. might lose this game. Yeah, on the okay, <laughs> they might lose this game on the island. They're I'm going to be honest. Them. Yeah, I, I think kick them out. I think Vanderbilt. Everybody wants to kick them out right now, but just uh, kick them the out SEC. if they lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're not going to lose. So, but that doesn't mean they can't cover the eight. Eight's a lot of points. So, especially when you're going out there to the island. All right. Do you have any other bets before your lock? No. Do you have any other bets before your lock? I have no more bets. Okay, so which one's your lock? The first one we did. Jesus Christ. I literally, that was right when I said. Yeah, your... but everybody was talking about that game. It's like, you want me to go to a different game at that point? Yeah. Oh, my yeah, bad. You, yeah, you hold it. Oh, my bad. Do you have any more bets before your locks? No. All right. Um, if anyone has, um, If anyone has a recommendation for the soundbite that we can play before we go to our locks, let me know. For now, it's going to be... Uh, P. Diddy, but we need a signal that we're going to the locks. So we're going to be much more structured this year. So, but yeah, this is our locks of the week. Savage! I'm a savage! Oh! I just love I'm that. I'm a clip, savage! Dude. Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! All right, my lock of the week is going to Wyoming versus Illinois. Illinois' 10 point favorites, unless that fucking line moved as well. No, yeah, Illinois' 11. 11 now. Okay, the over under currently sits at 44. Wyoming last year was a bowl team, but. Uh, the first and second string quarterback both transferred. Sean Chambers is in Montana, and Levi Williams went to Utah State. And their leading rusher, Xavier Valade, is gone as well. Wasn't that spectacular. Ran for 785 yards, though, so not bad. Last season, Wyoming, this is the main reason why I'm taking this bet. Last season, Wyoming ranked 113th in tempo. That's out of 130 teams. And Illinois ranked 93rd. It's a low number, but I'm taking the under 44. Very low number. 
Okay. It's my lock of the week. It's that low for a reason, so it's not that crazy. Yep, and my lock of the week's in the same game. Is um, it? Oh, God, you're going over for New, new quarterback for Wyoming, but things shouldn't change much. Um, it's another guy who can run but can't throw. So <laughs> They like to run. Uh, Illinois, they're going to be a better football team. The defense should be good on offense. I expect them to be able to run the football, uh, even though there's a little bit of uncertainties in their passing game. But, yeah, the lock for me is under 44. I think both teams will be able to move the ball on the ground, but I think that they're going to struggle to Look at that. finish in the red zone Look at and that. in opponent territory. And at the very least, I see Wyoming struggling to score. At Let's the very go. least. That's a good sign. I mean, that's a good 44. sign. I'm in. Ring it up. I'm in. Justin, what are you on? I'm, I'm not on that. Oh, okay. This is in North on. Texas and UTEP. Let's yeah. go. Ring it up. That was I, I think last year we were on opposite sides on many week zero games, other than the <laughs> Nebraska game. Yeah. But double locks, double locks on the same exact game to start the year. How could I not add it in? I mean, if I got exactly. two locks here, I'm on it. It doesn't get any better than that. All right, Justin, what is your lock of the week? Going back to North Texas and UTEP to pick them. Uh, UTEP returns eight starters on defense who allowed less than four yards per rush. And then on offense, quarterback Gavin – Hardinson is back and several O-linemen, and their top two running backs are back as well. Um, North Texas is still pretty good, but I don't see them stopping UTEP, so give me UTEP. Isn't North Texas trash? I thought they've been pretty good the past couple of years. No, they've sucked. <laughs> but they did make it to a bowl game last year. Okay, did they? Well, you got to get six wins to get to a bowl yeah. game. Right? What's the spread on that one? It's a pick up. Yeah. Even. Oh, even. But they're kind of getting a little better, but they still suck. The stars are aligning, man. Everything's it's not a team you want to. Everything's coming together. You'll y'all see them play, and you'll be sides. like, "Yeah, this isn't a team you really want to bet on because it's just death taxes and y'all two being on opposite sides on of UTEP. somebody's lock." Yeah, he's on UTEP. I know you're on. Wait, I'm wait. on UTEP. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, never <laughs> mind. Never mind. All right. Well then, good. We got agreements all around the table. Um, this is lining up to be spectacular. And, yeah, and I wanted to mention this. <laughs> this will be my first season where I'm finally uh, where I'm finally right with God to start the year. How so? Just I am. Okay. You don't have <laughs> I can feel it. I always get right with him. Did you go? And that's why I start doing better. <laughs> <laughs> but now. <laughs> he went to confession this Sunday. Yeah. I'm starting the season right with God. So do you and I to- want the audience to know that. Okay. Well. Godspeed. Do you want to fill us in on um, how you came to that conclusion? I just I live closer to a church now. And you've been visiting? Well, I run past it. <laughs> <laughs> so he's closer, <laughs> literally, to God. <laughs> he runs past it like it's almost. That's like, what you're getting at. He's running I'm past it the friend- other day, like week zero, Saturday. <laughs> See you guys on Saturday. <laughs> I'm real friendly with the congregation. They come out, I wave, you know. What do you. Do they wave back? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see a lot of kids there? Um, I'm going to keep the priest jokes okay. for another episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 He can't. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get you don't want to get on the wrong side of God right before we uh, right. right before the season starts. Um, all right, I'm going to recap mine real quick. Um, all right, kicking it off 11:30 like we talked about first in Dublin. Give me the under in the Nebraska versus Northwestern game under 50 and a half. Give me New Mexico State plus nine and a half and under 50 and a half. And that one, give me the last game of the night. It's a perfect start to the college football season and especially week zero. Hawaii versus Vanderbilt, 9.30 p.m. start. You got to you gotta stay up late. You got to work for this one. Give me the over 53 and a half. And my lock of the week is going to be the under 44 in the Wyoming versus Illinois game. A shitload of point totals for me. I normally never do yeah. this. What you got? In Dublin, first game of the year, taking Nebraska minus 13. I'm going UTEP against North Texas. I'm picking UTEP and a pick them. And then for my lock of the week, it's the Wyoming at Illinois under 44. Yes, sir. Justin, what you got? I got Nebraska minus 13, and then I got the under at 55. I mean, 50 and a half Mm -hmm. against Nebraska and Northwestern. And then I have Vanderbilt minus seven and a half against Hawaii, and then also the over at fifty three and a half. And then for my lock of the week, it's going to be UTEP as a pick'em. Okay, Joseph. 
I got first. I got Nevada <clears throat> minus nine over New Mexico State. I uh, got Hawaii plus eight against Vanderbilt, and I just jumped on it under forty four in the Wyoming Illinois game. And my lock of the week is Nebraska minus thirteen over Northwestern, and I'm on the under fifty and a half now. Okay, and for everybody listening, um, it's obviously no disrespect. We talked about it. Take Joseph's picks to start with a grain of salt because he values himself as an NFL guy, uh, but we told him he has no choice. He has to bet college football games as well. So, doing my research, so I'm yeah, getting better. Yeah, so he's he's dipping his toes in the start, but um, take his picks with a grain of salt, at least for the beginning of the year. But I'm feeling fantastic. I'm so pumped. I'm feeling great. I mean, that was a good sign right there. I don't there. even want to sleep from now until it's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I got, we got the same lock of the week. Um, a just, lot of us are on – we're no opposites, yeah. I don't think. Oh, yeah. except with except these two. For, yeah. A Hawaii and Vanderbilt. And yeah, we're on opposites as well. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, it's got to make you feel good. Exactly. But out of, the, <laughs> out of us – from last year, there's no opposites, and there yeah. was a lot of opposites last year. Yeah, there was. So uh, we're, this is going to be the year. I have. I, I'm going to be over the top confident to start this season, even though I don't really feel it. I'm going to fake it. I feel so good about these games, so good. Um, I really hope I get off to a good start, or it's going to put a fucking <laughs> horrible taste in my mouth. I got off to a bad start last year, uh, and then basically had to play catch up. Yeah. I mean, I get it. I get tired of talking about it. I hit a 20-unit biggest bet of my life on Georgia in the national championship. <laughs> but let's start off to where we don't need to do that. So, But, yeah, I'm fired up. I'm ready to go. Uh, so week zero, well, Saturday, I mean. And then there's the following week, there's games on Friday, I think, right? Thursday. Or did I see that wrong? September or Thursday. 1st. Oh, yeah, go. September 1st. Let's fucking go, man. All right. Um, so before we do our top three, we did have our fantasy football draft in the books. Who feels best about their team? We're obviously we're all in the league. Um, you don't like your team. I don't dislike it. There's just um, I took a lot of risk. Double wide receiver to start. Yeah, that was a big risk, but I had to. It was just the way it fell out. I mean, I guess I could have went running back Didn't instead you of pick before me. Yeah, you did not have to. You could have took no. Dalvin Cook. You could have took Eckler. You could have took yeah. Kamara. Screw all that. If, yeah. If I were picking later in the first round, I would have picked Camaro, but it was just too early of a spot to pick him. I thought at three, at four. Hold that thought. Did you see Tony Busby is going to represent? Um, he's going to represent the guy that Camaro beat the shit out of. Who's Busby? He's the guy representing every woman that Deshaun Watson allegedly sexually assaulted. Okay, but so settlement. Probably, but he's pushing for a civil lawsuit, um, not just a. Not like a person. He's going for a civil suit, and then he said that he is demanding that the NFL step in now, put him on the exempt list. Oh, fuck. I will bitch slap Tony Busby oh. if that happens. Um, probably settlement. Yeah. Just going to cost Kamara Sett- a little bit more money. Settle. Um, <clears throat> Kamara's partnered with fucking Matt Bowers. Matt Bowers has got to know a good uh, Morris. Morris Bart needs to step the fuck up, give Tony Busby a call, and get Alvin Kamara off the off the hook. We don't know if he beat the shit out of that guy to where he couldn't see. He already couldn't see. Um, you, if you see a before picture, his goddamn <laughs> eye wasn't even open. Oh, it beat the shit out of him. His eyes closed. His, his eyes were closed before he got the shit kicked out of him. He was a fat piece of By shit. By Alvin Kamara. He deserved okay. it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. They're like, oh, he was like, my, my client was just trying to walk onto the elevator. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was just, oh, whoa, whoa. This dude's randomly getting on the elevator. Where Fuck was him it at? Up. In Vegas. Oh, yeah. Right before the Pro Bowl. I've been around plenty of guys like this. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Except I didn't act on my anger. Okay, good. Well, that's the good. Because you're not Alvin fucking, Kamara. He was probably splitting faces. And doing a bunch of crazy shit, and Kamara had a fucking whip no, his there, ass yeah, the yeah. elevator. It, there's no, I mean, let's be honest, dude. He probably said something stupid. And then the problem is that Kamara lied. It's like, I didn't touch him. And they're like, oh, on the video, you kicked him in his fucking head. And he then, said, oh, there's a video. Yeah. <laughs> he said, well, on second thought. <laughs> yeah. let, me re- let me retract that statement. Um, but he yeah. didn't lie under oath. He just lied before he was under oath yeah uh yeah fuck it who gives a fuck deal with it after we win the super bowl and then if you win the super bowl he gets super bowl mvp they're like yeah you're off the hook good game but yeah so that would be very unfortunate um but yeah fantasy football draft i think my team's solid i think it depends on saquon barkley but yeah i think my team's solid kyle pitts 50 yard 
pass from Marcus Mariota. Mariota didn't look that bad. Um, I think I have an I have a solid team. Zach with the Tyler Higby in the fifth, fourth, fifth round. Yeah. It was the fourth <laughs> round, I think. So he said he wanted a tight end that could get him seven points a game. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you got it. Well, I don't know what he was thinking. But that's why that's a But he knew what he wanted. Like he picked up the tight ends almost immediately. And so I'm I'm Well, like, I think he was looking for a tight end and then he was like, Oh, Higby. I know that name. Yeah. I, Cause I'm like, I picked right after him. I'm like, I'm taking Kyle Pitts. So I was like, as soon as he picks up tight ends, I'm like, fuck my like, God damn it. And then he's looking at the H's. I'm like, okay, maybe he's going Hawkinson, which would also be out there this early. But then he took Tyler Higby. I literally I was like, thank you. Jesus Christ. Could have had a tight end to get you 12 points a game. instead. Of <laughs> yeah. The potential of 20. <laughs> I mean, we never know what will happen, but. Well, we do know. The bottom line is that you could have got Higby way later. Yeah, yeah. Way later. Five, like, he might have been an undrafted. Round. Yeah. Yeah. He might have been undrafted. Higby's going to be tight end one at the yeah, end of the year. Yeah, that's so what we were Zach's joking gonna about. make us all look like idiots. Um, but, yeah, y'all feel good about your team? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I really like my team. No, no, you keep saying that. You keep saying that. You you drafted first, so you got a great running back, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't think. <laughs> Um, but yeah, okay. Top three. Um, unless there's anything else to touch on that I'm forgetting of. If so, let me know. Uh, I have something. Go ahead. Nick Saban got an extension today. Yeah, fuck him. Mm-hmm. Whatever. He'll be there till he's 80 years old. So to 2030. Yes, he'll be 79. But yeah, till 2030. And then he's gonna run for president. Mm. So before we do our top three fast food items of all time, you can catch me and Nick. Is it confirmed? You're going, correct? Where? Friday. Yeah. Okay. You can catch me and Nick on the WPBN live stream, the Wolfpack Broadcast Network, on Friday. They do a live stream of St. Paul's football. Uh, they're having us come on at halftime. We're going to give out a couple picks there and uh, kind of shoot the shit with them for a little while. So we will post a link. You can tune in. We might have a pick or two for you um, that we didn't give out on the podcast. And uh, we'll see if we can get things rolling with that. We got You can't show up and give out bad picks so you know no so but yeah wpbn wolfpack broadcast network like i said we'll share the link so it'll be easy to find top three fast food menu items of all time any fast food joint any menu item breakfast lunch dinner dessert whatever you want starting from three to one i'll go first don't look number three chicken fries from bk Burger King chicken fries. Oh, that's a good one. That's a great one, Justin. You know how many chicken fries I ate as a kid? I ate a you, chicken fries. What? <laughs> you, what? The coolest thing about chicken fries, chicken fries was the, shit. the convenience. Well, they had a commercial, and a guy was eating them through a... He was a race car driver. He was eating them through his helmet. Never saw it. But okay. I'm be just like that when I yeah. grow up, Mom. Did you not like chicken fries? I like chicken fries. They're not on your top three? No. Yeah. Not even in a thought. Okay, well, that's dumb. Um, number two. I'll be I'll be shocked if one of y'all have this on there, but it's one of the, probably the most forgotten items. Life changing when it came out. Number two, the McGriddle from McDonald's. Yeah, that was one that came to a thought, but I I went and dealt another route. The McGriddle. Sausage McGriddle. McMuffin. Oh yeah. McMuffin. <laughs> 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 um Dude, when, when the McGriddle came out, that was like, I remember where I was when I first ate a McGriddle. I can't remember what Yeah, they're pretty out. badass. The little pockets of syrup? Oh, yeah. You put, you slap some so cheese on ago. it? Exactly. I, I was like nine that. or the ten. The chicken McGriddle's badass, Oh, too. me and yeah, my mom are. went to go pick. Oh, yeah, but that was way later. Yeah. Way mm-hmm. fucking later. Me and my mom in her black Honda Civic. I was like, what the hell is that? And she, get it? You toss some strawberry jelly on a fucking sausage and cheese McGriddle? I mean, you, you could make an argument that it's number one, but my number one locked in, no doubt about it. You probably, I'm sure, already know the Popeye's chicken wrap. Oh, yep. Oh, the Popeye. dude, I forgot. Oh, about you didn't. That. Oh my well, god. Well, all you used to say growing up, the McRib is back, bitches. <laughs> Never even eaten one in my life. I haven't either. Yeah. Uh, no. Fuck. Like, that's no. all you used to fucking talk what about. What the fuck? Yeah, because there was a viral video about it going around. I don't know why the fuck you were talking about it. The Popeye's chicken wrap yeah, is honorable mention, the McDonald's snack wrap, but Popeye's chicken wrap, 
just fucking a, blows just, that thing out the so water. Yeah, dude. just a shitty Rebbies tortilla. On it. Like if you ever opened it up, it's like the most depressing thing you've ever seen. But something about when you roll it together and you take a bite. I put Lindsay onto him, and that was like and red beans price, and rice and chicken is is yeah and the yeah price they were like ninety nine a dollar yeah. something like Used to run far they and they got away they fucking got rid of them because we were putting them under um, that's a slept on combination red beans and rice and chicken strips yes yes and it's so simple they yeah. could still do it so easily mm-hmm. like what'd y'all take away the tortillas yeah bring the fucking tor- I'll bring my own tortilla take that's what I need to start doing back. I need oh, to just make exactly. them my damn self I need to make them my goddamn self give me a low carb tortilla. Fucking high fiber, little bit. Give me a side of give me a side of beans and a four count of fucking chicken tenders, three count, whatever they come in. I think yeah. it's five, five or you seven. Can get three. Always get the seven. Uh, but yeah, Popeye's chicken wrap, far and away number Damn, that one. That was a good one. That was the best fucking thing of I all. I would have never remembered that unless you said it. Yeah, now, I know, and I I told Lindsay that because I, I when I told her. Um, we used to get that shit all the time. Yeah, because it would, dude, the bang for your buck is off the charts. Yeah. But when I told her and she figured it out, I was like, don't you fucking tell anybody. Yeah. She's like, okay, geez. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't ruin it. All right, give me your three to one. Um, number three, I'm going to Sonic. Oh, um, French bad. toast sticks. I do love French toast Those sticks. Those are fucking badass. I do love French toast sticks. Because I don't Hold lo- on. Hold on. Burger Kings are better. I never had them. Oh, dude, Burger King's breakfast is slept on. A croissant, oh, it is. A croissant witch. Yeah. But the the French toast sticks from Burger King? The powdered sugar on it. Oh, they have powdered sugar? I don't sugar ever on? remember Burger getting... Burger King ones did, yeah. I don't remember that at all. They were skinny. I don't... No, they're not. Maybe it was funnel You're talking fries. to... Justin, what the fuck? <laughs> Justin lives in this alternate reality. <laughs> like, they talk about, like, did a wormhole open and the reality changed? Justin is, like, from that alternate reality. Yeah. There yeah, was not. never once... Yeah. Let the record show there was never once... Powdered sugar on Burger King's French toast sticks. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about, but the French toast at IHOP <laughs> sucks. At IHOP? Yeah. Don't get it. Okay. I, I don't really like it. <laughs> it has nothing to do with French toast Well, it has sticks. powdered uh, sugar on it. Oh, That's okay. why I, I thought of that, but... It's no, I but usually Sonics don't like... Too. I usually don't like French toast. Oh, but love, you deep fry it, give me some hot syrup. My mom used to make French toast all the time. Because a little syrup comes deep warm. Deep fry it. Yeah, it's deep fried. But you can make French toast just in the pan. Yeah, but it's not as good as I guess as it's not the fried. same as the sticks. Yeah. 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 The okay. little sticks are yeah. deep fried. <laughs> All right, what's two? Number two, I'm going to Popeye's, the apple pie. What? Yeah. Those apple pies are fucking. Is it better than McDonald's apple say, pies? Oh, McDonald's yeah. McDonald's apple pies. I have gotten it. It is fire. But it's like, what's the, is it Wait, that? Wait, the ones from Popeye's, they got cinnamon. Cinnamon all sugar over all over it. Yeah. yeah, that shit is good. It's really good. It is. <laughs> um, <laughs> number two? Yeah. Okay. And then number one. See, I was trying to pick ones that I thought that wouldn't be on um a lot of y'all's. Like the Popeye's chicken wrap. Well, I thought of that one, or and I thought McGriddle. of the McGriddle too. Those were considered, but um. Well, the McGriddle's an all-time classic. I guess we'll wait to see what they have, and then we'll have to do honorable mentions or ones that got left out. Okay, but, I like that. Um, number one, Taco Bell, the Mexican pizza, no tomatoes. Okay, I feel like that is so overhyped. I well, one, I've never had one in my life. Never had one. Me neither. But the, there's like that hype around it that I feel like people just started taking to Twitter to be like, oh, the Mexican pizza. But it's like they don't even know if it like they don't really love it. It was just trendy. Oh, so I loved it. How, you've gotten them a lot. I used to get them before they canceled them. Okay. Canceled. I felt like that was just one of those things that it was like like the Popeye's chicken sandwich, like to post about. Yeah. Like I'm going to go get Like you're not even fucking craving a chicken sandwich. You're just going to get it because it's trending on fucking Twitter. But if you swear you got them a lot. It's not bad with tomatoes, but it's just, they don't <laughs> add anything to it, really. Just like in the way. All right, Justin, give me your top three fast food menu items, starting with three, going to one. All right. Number three, going back to Popeye's, Mardi Gras cheesecake. Did y'all ever? I've, I've, had I've had it. Never, I've, had it. I've had it. I've had it. But as a top three, what do, came in at number y'all, three. Y'all, y'all are putting Popeye's desserts in your top three. Dude, the apple pies. But the Mardi Gras cheesecake as yeah, number that's three? A, it was good. It's yeah, cheesecake. It was I've never had it. It, it. it is cheesecake. Yeah, but it's Mardi Gras cheesecake. Yeah. So it's even better it, when it Mardi Gras is going on. purple and, and gold and green. Like the strawberry cream cheese in. pies are much better than that. Dave fucking loves those. Those are... From where? Those Dave, might be better than the apple pie. Dave devours love. But I went those. with the original pie at Popeye's, the apple pie, but the strawberry 
Y'all keep saying pop, cream cheese. Popeyes. Do you Popeyes. catch that? No. <laughs> well, Justin 100% <laughs> said Popeyes. Popeyes. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like it's, it's Popeyes. No, it's like it's your your dad Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, Justin, give like, me your second one. Number two, Taco Bell. They're nachos. Nacho Bell Grande. No tomatoes. Uh, dude. <laughs> what? Are you, what? Dude, I thought you were about to be on to something. What? Give me the beefy five layer burrito before yeah, that. Give me the, the quesadilla. Nachos, Give yeah, me the, the fucking, quesadilla. Give me the Doritos Locos Taco over that. That what? took a steep decline though. What? The Doritos Locos Tacos over the year. They used to be fresh and crunchy. They used to give them out for free if goddamn um, <laughs> oh, yeah, the shortstop for Cleveland was getting them all the time. He's fuck, they what? overpaid him with the Mets. What's his fucking name? Uh, oh, um, Fernando Lindor. Francisco yeah. Lindor. Yeah. I used to get fucking free tacos because I do it all the time. Because he stole a base, right? Yeah. You steal a base, steal a taco. Yeah, exactly. Fucking that was back when we were in high school, I remember. Yeah. I mean, they still do it. But all right, Justin, give me your first I think first that's one. what happened to Winston. Number one. <laughs> At the Crab Legs. <laughs> Go ahead. What Popeye's is chicken wrap. Nice. I, no, didn't, that, I didn't know that. He you didn't know. That's it. a... I mean, He's got How two mad at that? items from Popeyes in his top three fast so? food menu items of Popeyes all time. is amazing. It's a fucking cheesecake. Yeah, but you can't be mad at him for saying you gotta, the same you gotta, uh, Yeah, As I soon guess. as you text me that, I mean, that's that's the first thing I thought of was the Popeyes chicken wrap. There's, Wait. There's no way you ate as many of them as I have. There's no way. There's no way. I just don't believe it. Yeah, that's all you used to get. If we went to Popeyes, you'd say, give me two or three Popeyes chicken wraps. Sometimes I would get four. Right, and nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Give me your th- top three. Well, this is where I thought Justin was going until he said they're fucking Bel Grande or whatever. <laughs> Number three, nacho fries from Taco Bell. That's like Fire. new. That is like new. Are those That's not? Up, they are my favorite fast food fries. Yes, over They've Popeyes, around, over uh, Arby's. Uh, what pop, What fast food fries are better? Curly fries. No. Sonic. Sonic what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, Dude, you live in what? another place. Really invalid now. What? Rally's fries. Nope, I'm going nacho fries. Nacho fries. And you don't Dude. even necessarily have to dip them in the cheese. Them by themselves. But that, are it's amazing. like it's like I I'm talking all time. Those have been out for what a year, couple years. Yeah. You're gonna put that over yeah, hell yeah over a McGriddle that you've eaten since you were eight. You're going to put these fucking I mean, nacho yeah. bullshit fries that are giving you cancer. You know cancer. what you should have said? <laughs> this, all, all this shit's giving us cancer. Yeah but, you, yeah, but you've only been getting cancer from it for two years, and it's already on your top three? I mean, you should have said staples in our lives then. No, it's top three of all time. So, so Did- fucking John ja Morant, John ja Morant's going dumb in the NBA. You're not putting him on an all-time list. But I'm going to say this. These nacho fries, by far, are the best... Fast food fries to me. They're not even fries. What? They're nacho fries. Yeah, they're fries. All right, all right, all right. Number two, now don't tell me this bullshit isn't uh, a staple. Chocolate Frosty from Wendy's. Yes. You cannot argue See, that. See, that, that you is can't something. can't argue that. You love Frosties, too. They, discon- yeah. they discontinued the 99 cent one. That's a that's a great that's a great one, though, because they that's something. They discontinued everything that was cheap, Justin. <laughs> Yeah, have you ever heard, you heard of, of inflation, inflation buddy? <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's a great one because that's something that you've gotten your entire life. It's, and it's a staple. It, and it's Ev- definitely enhanced with some fries being Getting a frosty it. from Wendy's right. when you were a kid was like, oh, yeah, you dip fries in it, it's fire. 100%. Buy a chocolate chip cookie, dip that in it. You could dip whatever you want in it. I mean, in theory, you could. Yeah, pretzels. I mean, anything. Chicken nuggets. Mm, you lost me there. <laughs> but, yeah, that's something that when you got that as a kid, it was like, Fuck yeah! It's like, oh yeah, can we go get Wendy's? Okay, awesome. I mean, you're getting Wendy's alone. That's then great. Y'all are definitely but then it's like, my number one. But then it's like, mom, can we get, can we get a frosty too? And From she's Wendy's? Like, she's like, yeah. Turns the night around. Yeah, get you a fucking large chili and a large frosty. The fucking, <laughs> fucking chili was the shit, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. if, the chili was fire. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. You go right. get yourself a large frosty and a large chili. You go hop over to Friendly Video, rent a video game for the night. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Fuck. Friendly Video. Fuck, dude. <laughs> All right, what's your first friendly one? video or blockbuster? Friendly video is right there on the corner. Yeah, don't right act like you, you weren't. Well, yeah. I don't know. You you might not have been in that house. I was a blockbuster kid. Yeah, blockbuster, blockbuster was fire too. Don't get yeah. me wrong, but friendly video was right there. I used to hold on to the games that we rented for so long yeah. that it was like we couldn't go back. Or we're gonna have to pay a goddamn fortune. <laughs> we're gonna have to buy stock in the company. Katrina hit, wiped out their servers. Did they have candy at friendly video? Of course. Okay, then it's a goddamn there, movie so. rental place. Okay. okay, number one. Yep, McDouble. 
Okay. I mean, Ooh, that, that was vanilla. almost my come, third. It's come on now. It's vanilla. Yeah. It's huh? vanilla. So what, dude? You're talking about, oh, it's really uh, growing up in our childhood. Something we really grew up with. What more did you eat than the McDouble? You're not going to tell me you ate the snack wrap more. I ate the McDouble because I was poor. I didn't Fuck eat the McDouble. Snack. Exactly. Exactly. I didn't eat the McDouble, though. Like, I wasn't eating and being like, this is the fucking best burger ever. Like, Bullshit. You loved them things when, when I, you were younger. No. No, I didn't. What was it a number 10? You only got them because you could get them. I, I was too poor. Because you could afford them. You yeah. get more than one. But, like, the, the snack wrap from Popeye's, the chicken wrap from Popeye's was like, oh, this is fucking incredible. What? I used to love McDoubles. It's like I didn't. Nobody, nobody dislikes them, but I'm not going to McDonald's. Like God, I'm craving a McDouble. Oh, I did. Like I'm getting. If I could afford it, I'm getting ten other items on the menu. We were riding bikes on the trace to go get McDoubles. No, yeah, I remember. But it was because it was like, oh yeah, you could get fucking. I could afford half of a goddamn chicken sandwich, or I could get two McDoubles. Like, I mean, yeah, it played a part in it for sure. But I think that's what made it so much better to me is that we struggled for it. They weren't. They was just. I mean, that's you know fine. I it's mean? your list. It's your list. You know what I'm saying? It's your I list. It. I get it. I, I just. I wasn't like. Oh my god! This McDouble fucking. Bl- I would take the McChicken before I took the McDouble. Oh no, McDouble all day for me. You like a McDouble? No. Exactly. I mean, it's like the McDouble number one. I'll never yeah. get another McDouble in my entire. Oh life. no, certainly not. Now I that mean, I'm, I now that I fucking either. can read. That's all we're talking like, about. Now that I've gotten <laughs> old enough to fucking <laughs> understand anything. Oh. Um, all right. Honorable mention. What? Well, I can't believe no one had the Chick Fil A chicken sandwich. I, that was, I mean, you know, I fucking because honestly, Fil-A. that beats everything in my list. It really does. But yeah, I took into account like, like I thought that was going to be something. Someone, why wouldn't that be I had worse. it in there. Let's put it th- this way: I had it in there, but then I took it out for the McGriddle. It was going to be number two on mine, but it's like that. So like, almost don't even look at it as fast food. That's yeah. just like. It, it's always there for you. I eat Chick-fil-A so fucking much. That is fast food. It, it is, but it's, it's like the highest fast quality food. fast food you can get when you oh, take, so you, when you look away saying. from the MSG. It's like, it's borderline. It's the cream of the crop. Like, yeah. so yeah, it's, and it's also, I didn't get them when I was a kid. Like it was yeah. kind of later on, but that's like one of those grandfathered in like realistically. Yeah. I mean, that's the best. I, I'll pick that over anything else really. But when you add in the fact that like, the nostalgia value, how much I've gotten the fucking chicken wraps. And I mean, chicken wraps, number one for me, not even close, but, um, honorable mention for me, just straight up Wendy's chicken nuggets. Yeah. Those are good. I fucking, that's the best chicken nuggets on the planet. Best, fast food wise. By far. Fast food wise. Yeah. Chicken nuggets. Yeah. It's not even and like, as I'm taking Chick-fil-A out of the equation, like if you, if you look at Burger King, um, McDonald's, Wendy's, Wendy's are so far and away the best. And then now they got the spicy nuggets. Like, it's not even close for me. What you got an honorable mention? I didn't. No, not really. Well, you don't um, have to have one. Don't the worry. Popeyes biscuit should have been on, on somebody's yeah. list. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things you. I like caramel frappe. Okay, but yeah, we're not growing up with that shit. Okay, you know? yeah, well, yeah, you don't have Thank to you. grow up with it. It, it can, reminds it, me of high school. Yeah, yeah. That no, that's a good point. Yeah, caramel frappe reminds before you of school. high school. Before school, yeah, you I used can to see run that before practice. Yeah. I know. All I can definitely see that. Ran a frat were you oh, practice. That's, that's why you were throwing up after yeah, in the same size. car. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were fucked up. In the frappe. Yeah. Um. You got an honorable mention, Justin? Um. Yeah. Wendy's baked potato. I did fuck with Wendy's baked potatoes. Man. Never had one. I, I Wendy's before Chick Fil A came along. Wendy's was far and away number one for me. Yeah. You got the chili. You got the baked potato. You can get a salad if you really wanted. Wasn't when I was a kid, but or definitely not now. I won't fucking. I don't go to Wendy's really. Um, but yeah, chili, baked potato, number seven, home style chicken sandwich, lettuce, tomato. I mean, no tomato, lettuce, cheese, ketchup only. Um, I mean, you can't really go wrong with it. The fries were always the worst thing. So, but they made them better. And now they got they good did. fries. They <laughs> did. Yeah, uh, high five. I think that's their new. Well, you wouldn't know. You don't watch TV. So, but that's their new <laughs> yeah. thing. Um, so yeah. I don't know what the topic of the next top three is going to be, unless y'all want to throw one out right now and, and set the table. We'll think of something for sure. Well, yeah, I mean, I've got some listed down, but I'm just not going to. Yeah. Unless you got a good one. I um, mean, there's so many good ones. Are we yeah. trying to keep it light or like uh, do like more serious ones, like top three fighters of all time? Or I like, mean, yeah, we could do shit like that too. You know? But but yeah, so we'll 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 brainstorm on it. But um, all right, that's essentially all I have uh, for this episode. You got anything? Um. No. You got anything? Let's roll. We zero, baby. 
Uh, we're almost there. Just hang on a couple more days. Stay away from preseason. <laughs> Don't act like you weren't betting. Just hang preseason, on, Justin. No, I did. I bet on the Saints money line last game. I did. Stay away from preseason. I did. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> stay away from preseason. It fucked me up last uh, game, guilty. but yeah, I'm the one who said stay away lesson. from preseason. <laughs> I haven't bet a single preseason bet. Have you? Don't lie. No, I've never bet preseason okay. in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, like Justin said, we are almost there. Saturday. What is it? Wednesday right now? Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, I just basically put it out. You've Wednesday. got you've got basically three three more days. Uh, full, three in a fucking It's Wednesday court. in um, London. Yeah, exactly. I think, yeah. Maybe. Well, 2 a.m. No, it's Wednesday it's here Wednesday now. When you oh, no, it's this. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah it's Tuesday here, but it's Wednesday in London. All right. Yeah, you've got you've got three, four more days, and then we're going to have football all day Saturday. It's all we're going to have to do. Um, take these picks with a grain of salt. It is week zero, but, I mean, we had some uh, – we had some consensus. We had. No, I feel good. I'm excited. Good. First year of college football. Good. And yeah, we'll have NFL picks right around the corner. We're less than three weeks away. So That's, I'm fired up about NFL that. too, just because yeah. I had a, I was I had a promising season last year. Justin's scared of it. Apparently, he's shrinking from the pressure of a 60 and 32 season. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if you can duplicate it. But I mean, at least we will. Okay. Now Love now it. he's coming in Love with the, no no he doesn't mean that. I'm still though. smelling the smelling salts. <laughs> yeah. I know part of me wants to do it again, but there's I'm, no point now. I'm scared I'll stay up. Yeah, we gotta go to we gotta sleep tonight. Yeah. I mean I got like for I'm a second still there. Here. I got like a little dizzy headed there for a second. Also went back to the well three times. <laughs> yeah. Um let me see that. Let's just make sure the caps. Those are, are sick. Check. Oh, we'll do it before every episode. So Shit, I'm gonna do get a before, fucking uh, supply. I wanna go come and add it. You gotta so do it before I can catch Saturday. A, I can catch a whiff of it. I can catch a whiff of it, definitely, but not too bad. Maybe um, before the Hawaii game. Yeah. Shit. Pump yourself. That's not a bad idea. You'll That's be you'll be in front of the TV. <laughs> 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 yeah, I've been doing the hawk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, all right. Episode 121 of Big Easy Bets is in the books. We will be back a week from now to recap the games um, and do the whole thing all over again. So good luck to y'all, but more importantly, good luck to us. Y'all have a good one. Who that? The house always wins. Play long enough, you never change the stakes. The house takes you. Unless, when that perfect hand comes along, you bet big, and then you take the house. I've been practicing this because a little bit that I rushed. It felt like I rushed. It was good. I liked it.